So how do men and women differ in speaking versus, li versus listening patterns? In almost all environments and professions, you will need to deal with both genders. Therefore, it's important to understand the communication differences between women and men to avoid misunderstandings and have more effective conversations. We talked a little bit about it in the previous lesson, but now we're going to elaborate on it a little bit further. We will share some of the key differences between female and male communication. But remember that these are general guidelines. Not all women and men follow the stereotypes. Women interrupt less. Yes, they tend to wait for their turns to speak. So you can imagine how this can be fairly impossible in a poorly managed meeting with 10 or 20 confident extroverts or type A's. Men interrupt a lot more. Even if a woman attempts to interrupt, she will be less likely to be successful because of her general softer voice and greater hesitation compared to men. Women speak less. Men speak more. Contrary to popular belief, men speak more in meetings because they interrupt more often and don't allow others to interrupt them. Women are better listeners. Women engage in empathy with eye contact, body language, mirroring of the other person, rephrasing and using expressions such as, oh, okay, I see, I hear you, I got it. Men are less interested in being good listeners and more interested in demonstrating that they are powerful. They will act a little bit more dismissive and engage in more dominant body language. Men are also more direct. Men are very direct in their opinions, messages, and stories, but they will try to keep the attention on them until they are done with their point. Women speak more about feelings. Women are more comfortable speaking about feelings and emotions. This is useful in some situations to demonstrate vulnerability and gain likability, but it can also be perceived as weakness, especially by men who prefer to talk facts. Women dialogue more. Women seek constant feedback from other parties. They share and then ask for what others think as they move along. Men will get their entire point, story, or solution shared at once. They do not want to be interrupted. Women use weaker language more often. They apologize more. They use weak language such as, oh, I'm not sure of, or I, I can be wrong, but perhaps, maybe. That language not only makes others less interested in what they have to say, but it also makes others see what she says as less serious. In addition, it also lowers her own confidence in speaking. Men come across as more authoritative. Men have more aggressive communication, imposing body language, deeper voice, all of which convey more authority, which is usually their goal. As you can see, a lot of women behaviors contribute for them to speak less and men to speak more, and for women to be perceived as less serious and men more powerful. It is key to notice this, especially if you are a woman in business or corporate world dealing with men, regardless of their titles or positions, regardless if you are employee or bosses.